As you may recall, BARD was announced in March 2023 as a competitor to OpenAI's ChatGPT. However, BARD's debut was a bit of a disaster. The presentation was rushed and the initial results of the system were less than stellar. This led to a lot of criticism from the AI community and Google was forced to retreat from the battlefront. With the release of Google's latest and greatest AI model, Palm 2, just a couple of weeks ago, you might be wondering how the Palm 2-powered BARD perform now. In this video, I've made a side-by-side -side comparison of Google BARD and Chat GPT-4, focusing on nine key aspects, and surprisingly, Google BARD actually outperforms Chat GPT-4 in eight of the nine aspects. So, what are these areas where Google BARD is pulling ahead? How might BARD add value for you? As a big fan of Chat GPT-4, will I switch to BARD AI? Let's find out together. And here's some great news. BARD is accessible to anyone with Gmail account. It is free and available in 180 countries, including US, UK, Singapore, Malaysia, and India. If you need the link, just check out the description below. All right, let's jump right into our first comparison point, internet access. The biggest difference between Google BARD and ChatGPT4 is BARD now has live internet access. Now let's put BARD to the test. I'm going to ask BARD AI, what are the top five headlines in USA today? As you can see, Google BARD serves up a neat little summary of today's top headlines. It's like having your own news digest, taking just a minute or so to keep you in the loop. I personally think that's a pretty awesome feature and a real time saver. On the other hand, ChatGPT4's knowledge only extends up to 2021. As of May 2023, ChatGPT internet access is only available exclusively for ChatGPT plus subscribers who pay $20 per month and with some plugin installations required. If I want to know more about those headlines, that leads us nicely into our second comparison point, further research. All you need to do is just click on Google it. Board then presents me some related topics I can search for. The first one seems more related to my topic, so I just need to click on it and it will bring me to the Google search. Then, it's just a matter of clicking on the search result that catches my eye. This is something you simply can't do with ChatGPT4. You see, ChatGPT4 can sometimes reference sources that are either inaccurate or, worse, completely made up. But with Google Bard, fact-checking is a breeze right within the app. That's definitely going to make users feel more confident about the info they're getting from Google Bard. Okay, we've seen a lot of text so far, but what if you're more of a visual person? That leads us to the third aspect of our comparison, the visual experience. Google Bard is also becoming more visual. For instance, if you want to check out the top 10 must-see sites in Singapore, Bard AI will show you images of these must-visit places with a short description. Want even more info? No problem. You see those website links on the top left corner of each image? One click on any of them, let's say Gardens by the Bay, for example, and boom, you're on their website. In Chat GPT 4 it will only give you the information without any of those enticing images or handy website links. It is kind of boring. What if I want to keep this information for later, or maybe even send an email to my wife? That's where our fourth point of comparison comes in, exporting responses. But before we dive in, if you're finding this video helpful so far, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more. In Google Bard, you have this button right here for export response. Just one click and you can export this response straight to Google Docs or even draft it as an email in Gmail. So let's try out both. Hitting export to Docs gives me a nice notification at the bottom saying a new document's been created. Please take note that the images are only available in Bard. Now clicking Open Docs loads up the entire response in a new Google Doc, with the prompt even serving as the title. So if I do some prompts on Bard and find some useful results, I can just export this directly to Google Doc and start editing this document. I don't have to worry about getting this on a text file or a PDF file, which has to be then imported and also formatted for different kinds of documents. This is a massive time saver for me. Now let's say if you want to share this with your family or friends, you can just click draft in Gmail. Google Bard will create a new email for you. Then just click on open Gmail and it will copy this entire response to a draft in Gmail. And again, it adds this prompt as a title. Then you can just modify this email and send it to your friends or family. Although this might seem like a small thing, but believe me, this feature has seriously streamlined my workflow. 
Now, if we compare this with ChatGPT4, well, I'd still have to go old school by copying and pasting the text into my email or document. More steps, more hassle, not ideal. And now it's time to explore our fifth point of comparison, voice-enabled prompts. Do you know what a lot of users have been asking for in ChatGPT? Voice-enabled prompt. Sadly, as of May 2023, this feature is only available to ChatGPT Plus subscribers and requires an additional plugin. For Google Bard, anyone will have voice enable prompt and you don't need the additional plugin. You can just press this button right here and start talking to Google Bard. Please let me know the latest headlines in USA today. So you don't have to type. You can just talk to Bard and get all your answer. Imagine the possibilities once this is integrated into mobile phones. It's like having your own personal AI assistant on hand to field any question at any time. And the responses? They're incredibly human-like, elevating the interaction to a whole new level compared to what we're used to from Siri or Google Assistant. Now, onto our sixth comparison area, interaction with websites. As Google Bard has access to the internet, you can interact with websites in Bard. One of the most useful functions is to summarize a web page for you. For instance, if I want a summary of this news, I just need to copy the web page address and ask Bard AI to summarize it for me. Here you go. It will give you the summary of the news. You can just read the news in seconds instead of spending minutes reading it. You can also ask Bored AI, what are your thoughts on this article? It will give you its thoughts. I think it's good news that the House of Representatives has approved a bipartisan debt limit increase. The government was on the brink of defaulting on its debt, which would have had a devastating impact on the economy. However, I am concerned that the debt limit will need to be raised again in the coming months. This is because the government is still running a large budget deficit and the debt is expected to continue to grow. I hope that Congress will be able to reach a long-term agreement on the debt limit. This would provide certainty for the markets and help to avoid a future crisis. Isn't that impressive? Now, you can export this amazing response to a document or email and send it to your boss or colleague. This will certainly increase office productivity significantly. Being able to interact with websites in real time opens up a world of possibilities, making Bard an incredibly powerful tool for a multitude of tasks. And this is just the beginning. On the other hand, with ChatGPT4, unless you're a Plus member with certain plugins, you're stuck copying the entire article into the prompt. And if the article is a lengthy one, ChatGPT4 might struggle to process it, forcing you to slice the article into smaller chunks. So when it comes to convenience, Google Bard is clearly leading compared to ChatGPT4. Moving on to the seventh point, multiple drafts. Bard doesn't just give you one response. It presents you with three unique drafts. Click on view other drafts right here and you can browse through drafts two and three. It's like having a mini brainstorming session where you get to pick the response that fits your needs best. Now, this is a feature ChatGPT lacks as it offers just a single version. Personally, I'm a big fan of this feature. I'm always on the hunt for best ways to express my ideas, and this saves me the hassle of asking chat GPT multiple times for different takes. On to the eighth aspect, speed of response. Who's quicker, Bard AI or chat GPT4? Let's put them to the test with the prompt, top 10 must-see sites in Singapore. As you can see, Bard AI is much faster than chat GPT4, plus it comes loaded with images too. Let's try another one. Can you explain what artificial intelligence is in about 150 words? Make it simple for a 15-year-old to understand. Again, Bard AI finishes first, and it is the obvious winner in this category. Well, this is because Bard AI is powered by Palm 2, which is a much more compact language model than ChatGPT4, so it can respond faster. But while speed matters, what about the quality of content? Let's examine the responses from our two previous prompts. Having spent more than 20 years in Singapore and have been hosting foreign visitors frequently, I think I can be a good judge on the top 10 must-see sites. Let's look at Board's result. Garden by the Bay certainly is a must-see. Singapore Zoo, yes. Sentosa Island, yes. Marina Bay, yes. Chinatown, yes. Little India, yes. Kampon Clan, maybe. Singapore Flyer, yes. Singapore Botanic Gardens, yes. Singapore Art Museum, not a bad one. Let's look at ChatGPT's result. Marina Bay Sands, yes. A must-see Gardens by the Bay, yes. Orchard Road, probably no. 
Malayan Park, yes. Chinatown, yes. Sentosa Island, yes. Clark Key, probably not. Raffles Hotel, probably not. East Coast Park, probably not. Little India, yes. For this query, I am certain that Bard AI offers a better response, but I believe Bard AI's superior performance over chat GPT-4 in this context is primarily due to its strong reliance on Google's search capabilities rather than its AI language model. Google has the best search engine in the world. Now, let's look at second query, explain AI in 150 words to a 15-year-old. Google Bard says, AI is a way of making computers do things that normally require human intelligence. AI systems can learn and make decisions on their own without being programmed to do so. AI is used in a wide variety of applications, including self-driving cars, etc. AI is a rapidly growing field, and it is likely to have a major impact on our lives in the years to come. I think Bored should make it more interesting for a 15-year-old. ChatGPT says, AI is like teaching a computer to think and learn like a human. Imagine if your computer could recognize your face, understand your voice, or even play video games against you. That's AI. It's created by giving computers lots of information or data, and then teaching them to make decisions based on that data. So AI can be used in things like Siri on your iPhone, who understands and responds to your voice commands, or in self-driving cars, so on and so forth. This is nicely done and more interesting for a 15-year-old. In my personal opinion, ChatGPT4 takes the lead on this one. This particular request is really a test of which AI has the superior language model. And in this case, ChatGPT4 is the clear winner in this department. Overall, Bard AI has outperformed ChatGPT4 in 8 out of 9 categories. However, ChatGPT is still the best in content generation. Who do you think is the final winner? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I am eager to hear your perspectives. If you enjoy this video and want to help it reach broader audience, please click the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.